Okay, now I'm going to do a, just done a freezing test. Now I'm going to do a heating test. I'm going to heat water. The coolant I'm running now, which is a, a, a popular brand, which actually says anti-boil. And I'm going to heat up the Evans product to make sure that it does what it says it does. Um, don't do this at home, um, heating up all these different chemicals. That's why I'm doing it, so you don't have to. Alright, so please watch the clip and hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, here's baseline. Boiling water at 100 degrees to check the accuracy of the gauge. As you can see the water is bubbling and it's hit 100 degrees Celsius. So this gauge is accurate. Okay, now we'll test the coolant I'm running currently. The next one is a, a popular coolant. It actually says anti-boil on the bottle. Um, it is now at about 75 and it's fuming which means building up pressure inside your cooling system at 70 degrees um, which is not really desirable but I guess quite normal for a coolant product but if it's anti-boil yeah the steaming is a bit of a problem and this is a not a water mixed one this is direct mix pour in from a big bottle it's pre-mixed for you so it's the correct mixture and it's steaming away and it's 80 degrees now it has almost reached boiling point this is your popular brand engine coolant which is anti-boil but the water is moving at a hundred degrees um, it's not bubbling but yeah I would I would call that boiling at a hundred degrees it's just over a hundred now it's probably just a smidgen better than water but I, I call that boiling and it's barely over boiling point maybe five degrees more okay next up the Evans waterless engine coolant made sure it was totally dry and clean now for the Evans this will be interesting the nice thing about Evans is it's totally non-toxic you can drink it unlike Glycol, which is extremely poisonous. Um, okay. Okay, the Evans, it has reached 100. Um, there is a, a slight vapor coming off, but it is minimal. It's, it's coming off very slow, unlike, like the water, which had quite a lot of steam coming off and was increasing as the temperature went up um, so we are at 100 plus now and there is zero movement in the liquid so we'll see come back in a little while okay we are at 125 degrees at the moment it is steaming but still not boiling so they actually call it vapor um, what the vapor is made of I'm not sure but it's just a gentle smoke at 125 I'm not going to take it up to 190 on my stove um, but I will take it up to 150 if if for instance your cooling system is allowing your engine to go up to 150 I mean you've got problems anyway 
um, that this is able to go to 190 Celsius it, it is just a bonus but honestly um, you probably start cooking your engine oil at that sort of temperature so I'll come back in a little while again okay there's no movement in the coolant and it's crossed the 150 barrier um, like I said you need to fix your cooling system if it allows your water your coolant temperature to go this high um, I will do a pressure vapor um, display once I've put it in my car and I will take the radiator cap off at running temperature when the fan cooling fans have come on so that we can see how much pressure there is in the radiator I'll do that very carefully of course we've uh, we're about 160 now so I will call it a stop at that because if your car is running at 160 you've got to fix your cooling system and seeing there's absolutely zero movement in the water or not water, in the coolant, my fault um, I, I don't believe, I believe it will definitely go up to 190 we're pushing 170 now and I'll call it, call it a day for safety reasons as well okay, over and out okay, so from this test we can clearly see that the Evans is well and truly um, capable of cooling your engine way above your temperature needs. As a matter of fact, when I took the pot of the stove, I put it on a cutting board and the liquid was that hot that it burned the wood. So if your engine is running at those sorts of temperatures, you've got a problem anyway. So it's well and truly within what you need. You will never ever should have to run your car at 190. So I hope this clip is of use to you. Thanks for watching.